Hi everyone, this is Angelo of Mech Designs and today let's review the D400 Ergonomic Pen Sander by David Junior. This tool is made in Taiwan that requires a power supply of 12 volts with 0.5 amperes, which is also included on the package. Along with it includes a set of sandpapers. Packaging of the sandpaper is color coded for easier distinction. Red 4 to 240 grit, yellow 4 to 400 grit, and blue 4 to 600 grit. Each packaging includes this cardboard template that you can use as a guide to cut the sandpapers precisely. This template contains different shapes that match the sanding bits that is included as well. Now let's talk about the sanding bits. As you can see, these bits have different shapes that is meant to be used on different application. The triangles is very helpful on sanding the corners, V-shaped areas, or the ones with a narrow space at the front and wide in the back, while the square bits is more applicable on removing the seam lines and wide areas. Along with the package is this peculiar diamond mounting point that is used to hold the diamond sanding bits, and we will discuss more about it as we proceed on the demo of how this sander works. So let's proceed with an in-depth review of the D400. At one end you have the chuck where you are going to attach the bits and on the opposite side contains the power socket. The power adapter for the D400 requires 240 volts with a 50 to 60 hertz input and is using a DC connector similar to an audio jack which is also a coaxial power connector. And near the power connector, you have the dial, which turns the sander on as you turn it to the right. The D400 does a linear slope, and the minimum speed or slope is around 1000 per minute, and the maximum is 6000. Torque is around 390 gram per centimeter with a 3 millimeter scope length. The red portion of the D400 have a small groove that you can hold on to, so it won't slip your hand. You can hold it like this if you are going to use the diamond mounting point, which we will discuss later. That red area also have a rubbery texture for added hand grip support. For this demonstration, we are going to use two types of the sanding bits. One is the square type for broader application while we will use a triangle one for angled corners. Now let's put some sandpapers on these bits. We are going to use the 240 grit which is in the red packaging. As you can see, this sandpaper have a white paper backing since they already have a double sided tape adhesive included. With the use of the templates included, we are going to cut the sandpapers. We are then going to attach it to the sanding bits. If you want to remove the excess sandpaper, you can use a scissor or a hobby knife to do so. We have light here is the Mega Launcher from Gundam Zeta. 
and we are going to remove some of the seam lines using the D400. Earlier I showed you on holding the D400 like this, but for sanding purposes it is more advisable to hold it like this, since this position gives you more control and force to push down if needed. We are going to move up and down to have an even surface while sanding. As soon as the sanding bit touches the surface, it will start sanding that area in a linear slope. Just continue the process and check it from time to time. You will then see the seam line is removed once done. Now let's move to the other part and do the same thing. As you can see, there's a small dot that wasn't sanded. We will just continue on sanding it until we have a flat surface. You can then spray a primer on this part for a further early correction and sand it with a much higher glit to have a smoother surface if needed. Next, I'm going to show you how to sand a curve or rounded parts like this using D400 with the help of a sanding sponge. It is ideal to use one of the rectangular or square type bits on this. You will also need a double sided tape and a sanding sponge. Add the double sided tape on the bits and make sure to cover the whole area of the bit. Make sure that it adheres on the surface as well. Now put the bit on the sandy sponge and cut the needed material only. With the help of the sanding sponge, we are not sanding the area flat since the sponge shape itself onto the rounded surface. Next, I'm going to show you how we can use the triangle bits to sand certain corners. We have here a shoulder spike armor of a super deformed Zaku model kit. By using the tip of the triangle bit, we can gradually sand certain areas that will be difficult to do if we use the square type sanding bits. And since this is a rounded part, we will replace the bit and use a bit with sanding sponge. On this process, we don't need to precisely pinpoint a certain area to sand. We will be using the sanding sponge to remove the flatness that is caused by using a flat triangle bit.
Now let's use this attachment. This diamond mounting point is mainly used as a holder for the diamond sanding bits. One example is when you want to loosen a circular joint that is too tight. To avoid breaking the part, you will need to loosen it a little and you can do that using the circular diamond sanding bit. And if we replace the bit with this carving small taper bit, we can use this to add battle damage on the edges. Let me show you how it is done. As you can see, I changed the way I hold the D400. This provides me more control and gives me a more precise approach as the bits touch the plastic. Slowly carve the edges to add the battle damage that you like and make sure not to overdone this process. And that's it for a demo on how you can use the D400 ergonomic pen sander by David Union. Along with the package includes the sandpapers, the bits, the D400 and the power adapter. It also includes a stand that you saw in the beginning of this video. Overall, the D400 is a great additional tool for the modelers, especially those who are having some muscle pain after doing intensive sanding. Price-wise, it might be quite hefty to others, but to be honest, this is actually cheap since it might cost lesser than some of the huge Master Glade kits or two Master Glade model kits by Bandai. There are a couple of things that you might want to consider before buying this. One is that it still needs a wired power adapter, so there might be some movement restriction depending on what you are planning to use it for. But for the average Simline removal, it is adequate. The bits may not be applicable to use on very narrow areas. But there are other tools in the market that you can attach to the D400. I'll create a separate post for that so you can still use the D400 on narrow and tight areas. And that's it for our demo and review of the D400 Ergonomic Sanding Pen by David Union. If you like this video and want to see more tool reviews, make sure to follow my Facebook page and my YouTube channel. Links are indicated below. Make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Again. This is Angelo Mac Designs. Keep on building. Peace out.